like affiliating me with like too much negativity unless they stand up and walk out of an interview like ESTG did shout out to him what was that experience like it was just he was filming it was so random <laughs> like when he walked out did he have an aggressive nature about him or anything like that or okay okay this is first how i told the story because this shit's hilarious so like my compound i have you've been there so like in order to get to the front of my studio there's like a little black gate that like leads to the front door so it's like a little square almost You're i totally feel it um so backstory about the interview i'm really tight with cmg his label yo Gotti's the homie um, the new girl that they just hired, Brittany, is one of my closest friends in all of music. I love her. Shout out Brittany. <laughs> um, she's a sweetheart. Uh, so, I mean, I've interviewed everyone on CMG. I've interviewed Moneybag, yo, probably more than anybody, five or six times. You know, like <laughs> Big Boogie, uh, I mean, Glorilla, everybody. So, Brittany calls me and she's like, hey, do you know how I can get ESTG on Joe Rogan? And I just kind of like laughed because I was like, What? What makes you think I can do that? You know, Freddie was on. Everyone knows I'm like really close with Fred. I was like, look, I just know that like he only puts people on the show he like is a fan of. Like, there's no like process, you know, like. So she's like, well, look, he wants to do your show and we want to like, he's got a bunch of like interests that nobody knows about, you know? Like he's into like a lot of shit that nobody knows about. Mm -hmm. And with this next press run, we want to kind of show his personality a bit because people just kind of know ESTG is the guy who talks about selling fentanyl and, you know, his <laughs> ops, you know? So I was like, yo, that sounds amazing. I'm down, you know? And, like, they kind of know at CMG, like, I have great interviews. Like, my interview with Glorilla, I think, is the best interview she's ever done. We got high as balls and just laughed for, like, two hours. It was amazing. <laughs> um, so I, I'm a, a fan of ESTG. A big fan. I actually love his music. Uh, so I was like, this is going to be dope. I'm excited at this point. Mm -hmm. So interview day comes. He's about an hour and a half late. Like, like he's late. And I would have canceled. Um, but like Brittany flew in from New York or wherever she's living now. I was like, nah, it's cool. We'll wait. You know, we'll wait. It's all good. I pushed whatever was after back. I think Brick Baby was after, actually. I pushed it back. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he comes in late. And I'm not tripping. Rappers have been late before. It just is what it is. But he, like, sits down and, like, he just doesn't want to be here, bro. Like, I heard the night before he was on the LA Leakers, but it took him, like, three hours to record his freestyle. So he had a late night. Like Three hours. That's what I heard. So... He didn't, he, he just is not the guy who wants to be interviewed. He just, the we vibe heard, wasn't there. Huh? The just, was his just energy was off. Vibe, right? Zero vibe. Mm. But again, I'm like approaching this interview like, okay, it's all good. I've had those kind of interviews before and they ended up being really good. Um, <laughs> so we just started doing the interview and um, like I, I, I told him, I said, oh, I heard you're a big Joe Rogan head. You know what I'm saying? Like what got you into Joe Rogan or whatever? And he was like, yeah, I just started watching it like I just started watching it I was like oh okay I was like so what you think like uh, you been paying attention to the alien shit he be talking about like with these aliens you know what I mean he just acted like I asked him like I saw that clip where he was like you asking me about aliens and shit well, that, no 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 that's what he posted on his story oh yeah 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 and then yeah, we yeah. started talking and like again I'm all about if I do an interview with somebody I want us to small talk and shoot the shit until we kind of come here on something mm -hmm. and we can elaborate a little more yes. Oh, cool. We hit, we hit the pavement on something that we Boom. all kind of know about. So now we can shoot. You know, I'm not like... So he has like these giant chains on. Huge. And I was just like, you know, hey, uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, like when you're ESTG and you're as popping as you are, do like jewelers look out for you? Like, because you pro give them promo? And he's like, we don't do discounted jewels over here. And I was like, ah, uh, yeah. No, nah, I wasn't saying, like, your shit was fake. I was just, like, asking, like, if I was a jeweler, I'd want to hook you up, you know? And I was like, I didn't say you had Brian Pumper jewels, you know? And he was like, who's Brian Pumper? How old is this fool? I don't know. And mind you, I'm probably getting a lot of this wrong. It's on YouTube if you want to go watch it. But I was, like, then explaining to him who Brian Pumper was. And he got kind of, like, weirded out that we were talking about a porn guy. And I was like, nah, but it's Brian Pumper, bro. Like, he turned out Lawrence Fishburne's daughter, you know? Like, he's legend you know <laughs> and uh whatever <laughs> so he, he ended up getting like a little i asked him about being in the nfl combine and 
I think he actually like thought that I saw from what I had heard from a few people. Uh, before he got there, I was watching highlights on YouTube with uh, my boy from the from the label. Mm -hmm. like, I was just typing. I typed in ESTG football highlights, and like the thumbnail of one of the videos is him in a fucking combine jersey. So I'm like, oh, that's. And I literally watched the whole shit. I watched football highlights of this guy fucking cracking fools, you know. But I guess. From what people told me after was I guess somebody had dissed him and like in their music video, they used that picture. So I, asked <laughs> him, I said, oh, you did a combine, right? And he seemed a little un like, un and I was like, I saw a picture of you, you know, in the combine jersey. And I didn't put it together until later because he had asked me, what video did you watch? Which video did you watch? And I was like, bro, I don't know. I was like, I, could sh I mean, I typed in the STG football highlights. But I had mentioned the jersey he was in. And it was more of a, re for him, it was more of a resonance to the diss track. I think he thinks that that's what I saw. <sighs> but I didn't see that. You saw him playing football. Yeah. And so I think he already was just over me. I was like, oh, he's trying to bring up the diss track. Whatever. Which I would never do. Whatever. Like, I'm not going to bring that. I'm not going to bring that shit up, bro. Because I don't give a <laughs> fuck to add to any fire that anybody or anyone's losing. This yeah. So he was like, what's, what's that got to do with my album? And then uh, I asked him a Yo Gotti question. He stood up and walked out. And it was funny because I kind of knew as soon as he stood up, I was like, oh, this is about to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't take off on you. So he, he goes into the... I mean, he took off on you, but not like that. My, my main studio, and he gets trapped in a little... He gets Because you have to have a key to get in and out. Yes. So he gets trapped. <laughs> my boy's trapped in the box. So the label chick, Brittany, my girl, Brittany, she's like, hey, you guys got to let him out. He's over here at the door. He can't get out. So then this fool has to get <laughs> let him out and squeeze through them. <laughs> After this awkward walk out. I mean, look, I think he is. That would have been lit if you would have did it. I think he's a great artist. I think uh, I like his music a lot. I think he makes some of the best street music out right now. I don't take any of it personal. I think he took it. You know that fool fucking crack you big ass linebacker as And like he's right cuz I posted that shit quick because I knew what was going to happen. I knew I knew the no no I, I mean just cuz I'm on the radio side. So I know the label's going to call me and say, "Hey, don't drop that." Nah. We're dropping that shit. So I Two days full right no right away. I said, "Hey, upload that bitch right now." Right the fuck. We had that bitch up 45 minutes to an hour maybe after he left. Live on YouTube. By the time I was interviewing Brick Baby, when that shit was off, my phone was on. 100K. <laughs> and so then he posted, he posted whatever he posted. He was like, you know, you're asking me about aliens and retired porn stars and the NFL combine. What's that got to do with my album? You're chasing a moment or, or trying to go viral. And I'm like, yeah, yes. You still haven't walked out. And guess what? It worked out for both of us. Great viral clip for me. And everybody, it, they did a write-up about the clip and his album on TMZ. Boom. Hell of people knew about his album. I, I'm not, I mean, you know, for what all I know, he's a cool dude. I didn't get those vibes from him at the time because we had a very anecdotal situation where he probably didn't want to do press that day. And he didn't like my vibe. So we, we definitely got off to the wrong foot. But I don't give I don't take it. It was cool. Is that the most awkward thing that's ever happened to you in an interview? Hmm. Tell me what's the first thing that came to your mind, sir? The 